I'm Jean Todd. I'm the president of the FIA, the International Automobile Federation, and I'm blessed to be in a Mulsan with my friend from Bentley. What do I like most about my Mulsan? For me, the Mulsan is a great combination of uh, British style, British craft, and German reliability. I love uh, cruising in this car. It's kind of uh, my luxury office. Tell us about the most extraordinary journey you have had with your Bentley. Hmm, it's a nice question. You know, for me, every journey is a pleasant one. And I must confess that uh, when I'm sitting in my uh, Mulsan, I mean, I have time to, to read, to think, to communicate. It's like being in my home. Now, an interesting question from Stephen. What do you think of the new Mulsan 6.75 edition by Millionaire? I would say it's a piece of art. I do envy all those who will be selected to have access to this car. In a way, it's also a conclusion of a great uh, story with the evolution of the Muldan. Another interesting question. What are your thoughts on the growing importance for sustainability within the automotive industry? The present vision to take into account uh, sustainability is a uh, hybrid technology. Bentley is putting a specific effort on uh, this technology and uh, I do repeat, I am a strong believer for the time being of uh, hybrid technology. So now a question from uh, Rico from London. Again, the background of the introduction of Formula E how prepared do you think Formula One teams are for a future of greater electrification in the sport? How do you think this will affect the sport from the perspective of motorsport fans? I was mentioning earlier the revolution with the new technology, with new powertrain, and I take Formula One. Formula One, we have a hybrid engine since now six years, and it's giving a sensational result. The next step will be on fuel. We want to be able to develop biofuel, green fuel, and for me, the future is on hybrid technology and on green fuel. So again, Rico, he's curious, huh? With the electrification of most, if not all, cars on the way, how will you propose to keep classic cars on the road? Incidentally, I just come out from uh, Retromobile, kind of uh, being uh, in a toy shop because you see all the cars uh, in front of which you have been uh, dreaming uh, when, when you were a kid. Of course, it's not a car you can use uh, every day, but it's a car you can enjoy and uh, you can exercise your, your passion. But uh, I mean, the future, new technologies which are developed like uh, hydrogen, fuel cell, and hybrid technology. And I do believe a lot on hybrid technology. Tell us about your role as the UN Secretary General Special Envoy for Road Safety. Road and safety is one of the worst pandemic of the society. Every year, 1.4 million people die on the roads. It's around education, law enforcement, vehicles, road infrastructure, and post crash care. 90% of the victims are in developing countries. So this carnage has to stop. And simple things like respecting the speed, safety belt, helmets for the two wheelers, don't drink and drive, don't take drugs, and don't text and drive. By doing those simple things, you will divide by two the number of victims on the road. So now, another interesting question from Paul. Due to the advancement of technology and safety standards in today's road cars, what are your thoughts on increasing the speed limit on motorways? So you may be surprised by my answer. I love racing. I love speed on specific fields if you're on a circuit where all the safety facilities are given, where you are well protected, that is fine. But if you are 
on the road. I feel that the actual speed limit are very adapted to the situation. So I'm not in favor of increasing speed limit. So the last question, what do you think the future holds for the automotive industry? I must say we are living a fascinating uh, period where a lot of new technologies have appeared and um, I will say I'm very, very keen on driver heads, you know, like electronic stability uh, control is absolutely essential. And of course we are now talking about uh, connected car, about autonomous car, and um, it will happen. We should invest in facilities to the drivers, make the cars easier and safer to drive. We will have access to even more technologies in the future, but let's already concentrate on what is available, which makes a big difference. Thank you.